Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today is the 26th of May, 2024. Let's see what's in your energy today, Pisces. So just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you watch this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to receive the messages. Messages for Pisces. One more. Thank you, spirits. First card of the reading, you have false person. Unexpected income. And that was main female. So you don't actually have to be feminine. Just in feminine energy, someone that's receiving. I'm not sure if they came out yesterday. I think the false person might have and the main female. But there is something unexpected coming towards you. I feel something that you do not see coming. On the back of the deck, you've got message of concern. So yeah, there's something unexpected coming towards you. Let's grab out some tarot now for you, Pisces, and see what's in the energy. What you need to be aware of today. So unexpected income could be money. It could be a message. Something that's going to leave you a bit more abundant. But there is this false person energy. There's someone hiding something, not telling the truth. not being themselves, being a false person. Ace of Swords. Then you have the Six of Wands. The Empress, Taurus energy. The Two of Swords. The Five of Cups in the center of your reading today, Pisces. The Ten of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. You are one. Temperance. And the Page of Swords. On the back of the deck, you've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I don't know how these cards look. Oh, you can't even see them. I'll see if I can fix the camera. I'm trying something new today. I don't think it's going to help too much. Just trying something new. Okay. Grab out some clarifiers for you, Pisces. Clarity, truth, starting the reading, a new beginning.
What's the Ace of Swords? So you have the King of Wands for the Ace of Swords. Fire energy, the Empress. And the Star. Okay, so truth and clarity, letting go of control. You've got the star coming out, Aquarius energy. You've also got the King of Wands and the Empress. So there could be some type of new beginning, some type of wish fulfillment that's coming together. Uh, you've got the sword energy, so truth, clarity, vision, words being said. You've got the Empress coming out, Taurus energy could also be significant, but there is some type of birth of an idea. This could be with someone that has fire in their chart, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Something that you're working on, some type of wish fulfillment with, letting go of control, being vulnerable. You've got the Hierophant. So there's some type of higher learning that you're doing with somebody at the moment. This is starting the reading out. So there is a new journey you're on. There's a new beginning that you're, you're working on right now with somebody else with the king of wands so as i said this person could have fire in their chart leo aries sagittarius they don't have to be this could be someone that's a passionate king someone that's driven by you know their creativeness i also feel like this is someone that could be very attracted to you someone that's mature what's the six of wands You have the Nine of Swords. The Seven of Swords. So you could be in your mind about this, Pisces, about this, but this is going to lead to victory. This person could be cheering you on. You could be cheering them on. You've got the chariot, so there's some type of movement. There's movement towards victory, and I feel like there's some type of deceit that's in your energy. You could be someone that's worried about deceit, worry about someone going to manipulate the situation, but there is a lot of action being taken forwards. And this is going to lead to success. You've got the chariot coming out, cancer energy. That could be significant for you with this person. Yeah, but I feel like you're leaving a situation. I feel like you could be up in your head about moving forwards, but this is the right way to go for you. What is the Empress? What is the Empress for Pisces? You have the Seven of Pentacles. The Five of Cups. And the Ten of Wands. So whatever you're leaving in the past, whatever burdens things that slowed you down. I feel like you're letting go of that. You've got the Empress coming out. You've got this new idea that you're trying to get to come into fruition. A lot of Taurus energy is coming out, um, but I feel like holding on to the sadness and regret from the past is what also weighs you down. I feel like you do need to feel those emotions, you know, with the Seven of Pentacles coming out, something, time has gone past and I feel like you are contemplating, you're looking back, you're feeling those emotions, but you do need to let them go. There's some type of sadness here. You know, this sadness is what I feel weighs you down. There's some type of new beginning that's starting. You could be focused on, you know, family. You've got the Empress coming out, Taurus energy. You could be focused on your children on your home, on creating, because creativity is coming out. But there is some type of burden that you still hold on to, which I feel like you are letting go of. You're, you're contemplating letting go of this while you start this new beginning. <clears throat> Something has a hold on you. What is the Two of Swords? What's this Two of Swords for Pisces? 
So whether this be a frame of mind or a person, you've got the moon. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius Energy, and the Hierophant, Page of Cups. So Two of Swords, Confusion, don't know which way to go, I feel like, because you don't know all the answers. With the Moon coming out, Pisces Cancer Energy, I feel like you could be sitting in this Contemplation Energy because you have no closure, but... You do not need closure, and I feel like the wheel is still turning. I feel time still goes on, even though you're sitting there waiting. There's some type of lesson that is needing to be learnt with this, needing to let go of this. With the Wheel of Fortune, <clears throat> Sagittarius energy, the Moon, Pisces Cancer, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, a lot of majors coming out with this decision. This decision is part of some type of lesson that you need to learn. Like you need to get out of your emotions <clears throat> and move along a new path, really letting go of something that no longer serves you. With the Wheel of Fortune coming out, it's like it's ready. This wheel is ready turning, even though I feel like there's some type of constriction, like this holding back from you, not making the decision, not making a decision forwards. What is this Five of Cups for Pisces? So there's, there's something that you hold on to still. What is the Five of Cups? You have justice. I feel like maybe because you haven't received your justice for this, you've got the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Eight of Cups on the back of the deck. So leaving something that was, you know, unfulfilling. You're still feeling the emotions for this. You're still feeling hurt, sad. Wondering if this was the right choice to make to take a new road. You know, this could have been someone that was family, someone that you were married to. You could have had a relationship with somebody. But there is some type of new coming in. With justice coming out, justice is really coming out to me today. So some type of karma or dharma for you. So your, you know, your reward, I feel. I feel like you don't see this. I feel like you're too busy sitting in this emotional energy feeling like you need to get out of that emotional energy and start working on yourself you've got the nine of pentacles coming out so you know when you focus on yourself when you focus on something in the material world whatever you're building here whatever this nine of pentacles is in your energy whether it be as i said something in the material world or family or your home or you know behind you this new cup comes in this justice of yours libra energy could also be significant She's looking over at the family. She's looking over at the happiness. So whatever you're, you're focused on, once you start focusing on that and letting go of that past, this unexpected income or whatever this is, this Ace of Cups, this new beginning, this new cup of emotions, this new cup of love is standing right behind you, your justice. You know, reunion doesn't come in until you're working on yourself. So, you know, leaving that old energy, letting go of the old energy to bring in the new. What is the Ten of Pentacles? What's this Ten of Pentacles coming in? You've got the Page of Pentacles. So do expect a message of some kind, whether it be something about money, whether it be something about family or like legacy, <clears throat> something that could be emotional. You've got the hanged man, Pisces energy. 
someone that's had the epiphany and the five of pentacles okay so there's going to be something coming in towards you as i said it could be some type of communication You could be feeling alone. You've got the five of pentacles. You could be walking this path alone at the moment. You know, you're feeling in that five of, like that five energy. So feeling some type of loss, walking alone. There's a change, you know, but this isn't for long. I feel with the hanged man coming out, Pisces cancer energy, sorry, Pisces energy. This is you, Pisces. You now see this, I feel, while you walk along this road from a different point of view knowing that that abundance is going to come in there's someone it could be a younger energy it could be a child coming in giving you a hand helping you some with something so as i said it could be a child it could be a younger energy earth energy is coming out so you could be working on something you could be bringing in this legacy like getting this legacy together like getting it all together seeing things from a different point of view that you you may need to walk this path alone and as i said just before with union you do have to work on yourself for to bring in that union you know to bring in what you desire so working on yourself working on your home is going to bring some type of message i feel towards you whether it be something of a collaboration it is reminding me of that unexpected income it was like the page was holding a coin giving a coin to somebody so somebody in need so there could be someone coming in coming to help you with something coming to help bring something together in your life what is this eight of swords what is the Eight of Swords? You have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords again. The Knight of Wands. So the new is bringing in clarity. You know, there's this new road you're on now. I feel Pisces. And the three of pentacles yeah there's some type of collaboration and there's action being taken forwards you have the page of swords on the back of the deck to me there is an energy watching you whoever this is i'm not sure but you've got the eight of swords so being imprisoned in your mind about this clarity, there's so much being imprisoned in your mind about moving forwards. There's, there's a new road that you're on. You're taking a new road. There's something that still holds you back, but you're still going with that flow. You're trying to go with that flow. Um, it's like divine's pulling you along on this journey. Like you do want to take the new journey, but you're sort of, pulling back a bit while you move forwards because you are imprisoned about starting something new whether this is going to be the same thing over and over again but there's someone that comes in i feel with the knight of wands you've got a lot of fire energy here for this person so they could have fire in their chart leo aries sagittarius this is someone that's very passionate, someone that has a lot of drive. <clears throat> this person could also be someone that's creative with the one's energy, someone that's very attracted to you too. But I feel, you know, this person is going to come in with some type of clarity that is going to take you out of your head about working together. So with the three of pentacles, you do need these other people to, to get this going. So... This person is going to bring in, I feel, the clarity to get you out of, you know, that bubble. So you could be holding back from people, from doing things, but this person's going to come in with clarity to bring you out of that bubble. Because I feel you're very in your mind about this, Pisces. What is you are one? What is you are one for, Pisces? 
you have the high priestess so just remember you are amazing pisces you are the high priestess you've got temperance This person may come in with clarity about choosing you. You are one. You are the one. And then you've got the Six of Pentacles. So more being imprisoned in your mind on the back of the deck. But I feel like you're going to give to this with the High Priestess coming out. This is your energy, Pisces. I feel like you are using your gut instincts and you are moving forward. You do want, I feel, balance. There's something to do with balance here. And then you've also got the High Priestess and it's number two. And that reminds me of balance also. Someone that's very spiritual. So I feel like there's someone going to give to you. I feel like this is going to be very healing with temperance coming out, Sagittarius energy. So as I said... This person is going to come in and say something that's going to get you out of your head and this is going to start moving forwards. I feel like this is going to be something that's also balanced with the High Priestess coming out. This could involve someone that has Pisces in their chart, but I feel like this is your path. You going forwards with this, this is your thing. I feel like you need to go with that flow of of life with the high priestess coming out also the behind the veil thing is really coming out so hidden behind the veil um this might be something that you know you're not going to tell people about um, but there's something slowly moving on there's some type of slow movement um in moderation with the temperance card so there's going to be happiness coming then you've got temperance coming out again in the page of swords so some type of new learning a new beginning let's see what this is for you what is <clears throat> what is temperance and the page of swords for pisces you got the page of swords Eight of Cups. I feel like you're learning to heal now. There's some type of healing coming in in your future energy. And, you know, you're going to leave that energy of feeling sad. And then you've got the Nine of Cups. So, yes, you're learning to realize that Whatever is around you is everything that you desire right now. You've got the Queen of Swords coming out. So you've got these boundaries up. There's some type of healing in moderation coming out. Like with the Temperance card. Then you've also got the Page of Swords. So you're learning to heal. Okay. So there's something about healing being imprisoned in your mind. There's some type of healing energy coming in in the future. And this is going to lead to your happiness. You know, leaving that Eight of Cups to walk towards the Nine of Cups. I also feel like the truth is going to bring you more closer to the journey of leaving that, that unhappiness. Slowly you are going to heal and slowly you are walking towards <clears throat> that happiness of yours. And you're choosing to, to learn that lesson. So Pisces. <clears throat> that was interesting. Um, seeing you leave that situation. You're leaving a situation. You're starting a new situation. Letting go of thoughts that could control your mind about the new but letting go of that control like being in that star energy letting go of control i feel there's a message that comes that's going to help you let go even more 
You just need to keep going with that flow of life. <clears throat> What's the Ace of Pentacles? The Four of Cups. The King of Swords. And the Queen of Pentacles. And then you've got the star coming out again. So some type of wish fulfillment. So we started the reading with the Ace of Swords. Okay, so some type of new beginning. You're in... You're in a new world, you've walked, you've opened a new door, there's a new door here, you could be working on something in the material world, you could be working on something with family, working on something with a person. I feel like there could have been an opportunity that was being waved in front of you in the past, but now you see it with the Four of Cups coming out. <clears throat> There's an opportunity that's coming. You've got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So this could be with someone that has air or earth in their chart. I feel this person does want to give to you. This person could be a parent. This person could have children with you. You know, they could be someone also that is someone that could be, you know, official, someone that is a boss, someone that doesn't show emotion, someone that's <clears throat> as I said, you could be working on something in the material world with this person, but I feel like you are going with the flow of life and you are not missing this opportunity. You're taking this opportunity while it's here. So there could be something, as I said, in the material world, or this could be something in love that there is some type of new beginning. <clears throat> what is the Knight of Pentacles? <clears throat> You've got the Nine of Pentacles. This person's coming in to give you something. This may have taken a while. This might be, you know, you can't rush. You can't rush progress. You've got the Queen of Swords. You also have those boundaries up. You know, you are really in your head at the moment i feel pisces with this new beginning you have those boundaries up because you don't want to get hurt again and then you've got judgment but there is a call you're waking to you're going with that flow of life you've got the empress coming out there is a new beginning there is something that there's a new idea that you you want to manifest okay and i feel like this may take a bit I'm a snake. This may take a bit to come into a fruition. This may be a slow journey, um, but I feel like this is meant to be. You got this Knight of Pentacles coming in with, you know, one Pentacle, and you've got the Nine of Pentacles. So there's something you're working on in the material world. You're looking very attractive. This person's wanting to come and collaborate with you. I feel like Divine's telling you to do keep those boundaries up. Do be the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> and then you've got the King of Swords here also. So the King and the Queen of Swords are coming together. Two people could be working together. This person's coming in to give you something to collaborate. This is something that you're supposed to be doing right now with judgment coming out. Scorpio energy could also be significant. This could also take time. You know, you can't rush things. Um, but you're waking to that call. You see that cup in front of you now. <clears throat> so don't be afraid to go with the flow of life, Pisces. Okay, we are going to grab out some music messages. So pick your pile, one, two, or three. You can pick more than one. I'll give it a little shuffle. So pile number one, two, and three. So pile number one, you have, I saw her standing there, the Beatles. Number two, Oh Pretty Woman, Roy Orbison. 
And number three, Children of the Revolution, T-Rex. So listen to those songs. They will have messages. And I'll grab out, sorry, I'll grab out a Celtic Spirit Oracle card for the collective. <clears throat> One card for the collective. You have the gatekeeper, gatekeeper, power, abundance. So something about being the gatekeeper, having those boundaries up, um, there is abundance coming into you. you. Do expect something unexpected. There is something unexpected that you don't see coming in that is going to, I feel, clear your head, clear your mind from all the worry. I am going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, being here every day and sharing your energy. I love doing these readings for Pisces. I am also doing personal readings. So if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. Thank you all for being here. You know, have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.